More than a million folks visit the Turks and Caicos every year, and I went this year for my anniversary. Oh my gosh, of it was course. Unbelievable. With good reason. The islands are home to the best beach in the world, breathtaking oh. waters, legendary diving, snorkeling, fishing, not romance. To mention, not to mention <laughs> luxury hotels and restaurants and spas. And <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Why are we there? <laughs> Why are we there? Well, luckily, Chef Ralph is. He's so lucky. Take a look. Look at me. I got the cherry detail. I'm in Turks and Caicos, just a little bit more than an hour from Miami. It's got incredible beaches and plenty to do for the whole family. Let's check it out. Comprised of 40 islands and caves, eight of which are inhabited, Turks and Caicos is an ideal tourist destination. Thanks to their famous stretches of uncrowded beaches and vibrant coral reefs, on land or below the water, visitors can relax in the unique serenity, hospitality, and beauty of the islands. Hey, Ralph, welcome to Turks and Caicos. <laughs> man, Ramon, good to see you. This uh, is absolutely well. fantastic, man. You know, I hear the beaches are incredible. Mm -hmm. I hear there's incredible things to do for the family. Mm -hmm. And I hear that you make some great rum-based cocktails on this island oh, as well. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Well, here's the thing about the beaches. We're home to the world's number one beach uh, through TripAdvisor, and we've won that year over year. And it's one of these places that you go and immerse yourself to. You can come as honeymooners or you can bring your family. We have the world's number one family resort in this country, which is Beaches, Turks and Caicos as well. So you can come and start a family or bring your family, one or another. Smart man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we got our name from, Beautiful by Nature. Everything you see right here is all natural. There's, there's no preservative, anything whatsoever. We have strict environmental laws in place so we can protect not only our beach system, but also our reef systems as well. Well, you know, Ramon, I think I could do a, I think I do a weather forecast here. It seems yeah. partly sunny, uh, clear blue skies, and 100% chance of rum-based cocktails. Rum-based cocktails, you gotta try these, bro. <laughs> it's a local Bombaro rum punch. Really? Oh, yes. Uh, you had me at Bombaro. How's that? That, my friend, is proper. <laughs> Now, why don't you finish up these cocktails and you show me what the rest of these islands have to offer? Cheers to that. Come on, let's go. This is the place? This is the place, Kung Shack and Rum Bar. <laughs> Amazing. Two of my favorite things. Ah, we gotta make you some fresh Kung Salad. Do they, do they have a casino in here? Uh, no. That would be, that'd be number three. <laughs> that'd be number three. <laughs> this is where all the locals live. Right here. This is a gorgeous beach, and we're going to make you a fresh conch salad to do. That's what the locals eat, right? Ah, that's what the locals eat, and they eat it fresh out of the conch, Ralph. All right, now tell me about it. Who's this? Ah, this is Frank, Frank Ralph. Frank. What's up, Frank? Nice to meet you. Yeah, cool. yeah nice to meet yeah, you. Cool I, running, baby. I make conch salad. You make conch salad? Yeah, I, I eat conch salad. You eat <laughs> <laughs> cut a little bit like that. Yeah, Whoa. Oh, well done. Look at the size yeah. of that guy. Well done. The first time you've done this, Frank? <laughs> That's foot. That's the foot? Yeah. Oh! That's the, I cut two eyes with that. Uh, That's his face? Yeah. Wow. Cool. That can't go you money? Wow. Now, can you eat that just like that? Oh, yeah. You want to try? Yeah. What do you think? Salty. It's salty like the water, but it's got great texture. So you put the conch, some sweet green pepper. Yeah. What else you put in there? Tomato. Tomato, onion. Is that a conch bowl? Oh yeah, fresh conch in a conch bowl, Ralph. Come on, forget about it. Look at this conch spoon. Nothing is wasted. Cheers. Nothing is wasted is right. You gotta have at it, buddy. Look at this. Cheers. Perfect. Simple, easy, fresh, delicious. Cheers. Can you pronounce the name of the beer? Ayangali. No. <laughs> no, it's I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so uh, this kitchen is not a one-trick pony right here, no. besides the great conch salad, which I incredibly enjoyed. Tell me what else is going on in this feast of deliciousness. Oh, so we have the conch fritters, and we have fried conch, which we call crack conch in the island. That's the crack Super. conch. And this is what you call a whole snapper. Amazing cuisine here. You, you might call that a whole snapper. I call it, <laughs> I call it all mine. All what? <laughs> Come on, Rob, look at that. Here you have this amazing Tex spiced chicken right here. Only in Turks and Caicos you can definitely find this amazing piece of wing here. From here, where we're gonna go next? You're gonna turn oh, me over to who? We're gonna go to Sweet Teas, baby. 30 oh. years into making nothing but good old fried chicken. All right, so uh, I got my seafood on, uh, chicken next stop. I, I like eating my way around an island. 
So Ralph, welcome to downtown. And, uh, this is what this is the thriving metropolis of downtown. Uh, yes. And this is what it is, sweet teas, sweet baby. Sweet tea. So it's so easy, right? You can order 50 cents, a dollar, twenty-five dollars, whatever you have in your pocket, you can order chicken with it. We're gonna have two dollars chicken and gonna, french fries. We're gonna have two dollars chicken? Why don't you make it four dollars chicken? Four dollars chicken. Four dollars chicken and, and a goombay punch. Some people go to Starbucks in the morning and have coffee. Some people stop at Sweet Teas, have some chicken and a goombay smash. That's how I would start my day if I was here in Turks and Caicos every day. All right, this is what it's all about. This is the secret of the island. Yeah, go in there. That's the engine that drives the economy right there. Tastes like I'm in Buffalo. <laughs> all right, Ramon, I think I just about ate my way through the island so far. I've been here for a couple of hours. I've already had four meals and two drinks. This right. is my kind of action. Okay. Uh, this is the end of my first day. I'm going to finish this chicken wing right over here, yeah. get a good night's sleep, and tomorrow we dive. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Starting our next day with a sunrise ferry ride to North Caicos. I'm going to do some exploring, burn off some of that calories from yesterday, and find out what makes this island tick. The islands are rich in history and stunning landscapes. Flamingo Pond is so named because of the flocks of flamingos and other birds that call it home. To get to our next stop, we cross the causeway heading to Middle Caicos. Destination, Dragon Cay and Mudgeon Harbor with its majestic limestone cliffs. This is Dragon's Cay. This is where some of the best snorkeling is ever found. Look at this water, it's absolutely clear blue. Fish, we got them. All types of snapper and yellowtail live out there, an occasional dolphin, and a migratory whale has even been known to pop its head up. Here on Middle Caicos, you can find the ruins of loyalist plantations. It's also home to the largest cave network in the Bahamian archipelago. So I'm here in the Conk Bar Caves, my new friend Dimitri. Dimitri, this place is absolutely amazing. Tell me what I'm looking at. Now just on the wall there, for starters, there, the dates you see there on the wall, they're real. We just had them printed over. They're from past workers here, okay? So the people here, what they did was they mined the bat guano. Now, bat guano is bat poo. That's Excuse me? Bat guano. Bat guano is yeah. what? Bat poo. Bat poo? Yeah. And what do you do with the bat poo? Well, they use it for fertilizer and also to make explosives. So the bat lays the guano from up top and then drops it down. So it was 10 feet off the floor, 15 feet off the floor. That means there's a lot of bats. Yeah, yeah. All right, this is like Bat City. Yeah. Take me on a trip, show me around. Okay. So I need this, yeah? Yeah, we're just walking this way. Okay, so this is our old salt water here. This comes up and down with the tide. Right, it's still low tide right now. You can see the brown spot just around there. Yeah. That's the highest point of water during high tide. So when high tide comes in, it rushes into here, and yeah. all this fills up? Yeah, basically. So it's like one big giant bat spa. You ever get one of those bat manicures where you put your feet in the water and the bats eat your toes? <laughs> it's a different show. My day of adventure has been absolutely amazing. Now it's time to jump back in the boat and head back to Provo. So Pam, I've seen a lot of different hotels, I've seen a lot of different resorts, but this I've never seen before. Tell me what this is. This is the beautiful Triton Villa that is on the Long Bay Beach in Turks and Caicos. It's a seven bedroom, six bathroom villa. It's got everything you can possibly need, a private studio for movie viewing. It has all of the facilities for spa services, anything that you can possibly think of is right here. We have a private chef for you that will come to your villa and make whatever meal you want, either something that you already know that you want or something that they'll design for you on a special menu. Wow, I like where you're done with the place. So tell me more about Turks and Caicos. Let's go right at it. The attraction for Turks and Caicos, particularly with Americans, is we're so close to the mainland United States. The next thing is, is that we use the US dollar as our currency. All of the major airlines, Delta, American, JetBlue, they all come to Turks and Caicos from all of the major gateways in the United States. Celebrities have also been known to visit. In fact, I spy Air Drake, and certain sisters we all want to keep up with. Easy to get to, great food, great drinks, it uses American money, and I don't need, need a converter for my iPhone. This is my type of spot. Your type of spot, welcome. I'm ready for some conch. Ah. <laughs> Did somebody say rum? Rum punch, yeah. conch. That was They'll me, by the way, that said it. That was yep. me. I said rum. <laughs> 
Coming up, I'm going private, my very own private island. Little Ambergris Key, talk about a piece of paradise. I am the only person on this island that is absolutely amazing. A slice of nature sitting right here in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. I'm gonna chill out, have some lunch, and find my inner peace. It's our final day in the Turks and Caicos, the ultimate luxury destination with breathtaking views and crystal clear waters. Private plane to a private airstrip on a private island. Perfect for me. Oh, thank you, Captain. I can see it. Private plane, private airstrip, private island, private pilot. <laughs> All right. Say a rebate. Oh, thank you. All right, I've arrived at Ambergris Key, Turks and Caicos. This is one killer private island. I can't wait to check it out. Iguanas are iconic here on the island, as are the Turks head cactus. In fact, the indigenous plant appears on both the national flag and the coat of arms. You know, I've seen a little technology here on this island, right? There's cell phone service, and there's walkie-talkies, and there's boats, and there's color TV, but uh, this is also a preserve, yeah? Two-thirds of this island is a nature preserve. It's uh, trying to maintain that beautiful by nature Turks and Caicos Island experience. And at the same time, it is an all-inclusive getaway. All right, now tell me about these beautiful suites that you have here. Well, these are one-bedroom suites we have here, perfect for couples or couples traveling with some small kids. We also have four-bedroom villas, and families can have a nice time spending quality time together. Tell me more about Little Ambergris. That's a cute little aisle out there. Tell me about it. You, it can is. you walk there? You could walk there, but, but we do have boats and captains to take you. It's our deserted island experience. We'll take you over there, leave you with your loved ones or family, get your lunch set up, and leave you there for as long as you like to enjoy nature, and there's no one else on that island. Sounds like the episode of a different kind of TV show. Yeah, it could be, could be. So let's check it out. The ultimate escape. Are you ready to visit Turks and Caicos? I'm gonna make it so easy for you. Visit the website, turksandcaicostourism.com, or check out another website, ambergreasekey.com. And as always, you can check out more information for everything you want at thebalancingact.com. Me, I'm Ralph Pagano. I think I'm gonna be sending for my things, enjoying some more time here in Turks and Caicos. Cheers. We got friends here to make.